we have returned to Oracle of Ages, part 13. And here, we have cut back from the shoreline to do some more item trading. Ah, I'm hungry! Yes, we... Yes, the tasty meat that we got at Crescent Island is for him. Uh, I would feel great after I had some meat. And yes, we are a greedy carpenter. Ah, meat! But at least he gave us a doggy mask. And we can use that doggy mask as part of his, uh, as part of more of the trading quest. But later, for now, we must go across the bridge. Or not. I love it when games like, especially games like this, where you're constantly, you may constantly be rewatching the same screens over and over again, and then there's a there's an in-game instance that permanently changes the layout, like unfolding that bridge, or opening a gate, or something like that, and somebody's sending me a text message, and I should answer that, and remember to mute my cell phone. And we got a dumbbell. There's a reason why we only got one dumb dumbbell, and it's part of a time paradox. A very small one, though. Perhaps. I'm going the wrong way now. I don't know good why. Thing I'm all going the, this way. Good thing all the items that you need to trade can be traded within like the same five block radius. No. Most of them can, but uh, a, a good portion of them you have to you have to travel across the map for. Yeah. Oh boy. It's a new screen! Yes. This is another screen that you can encounter Maple on. And these fucking things, which I can't remember what they're called, except fuck you. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now we do have a method to actually take them down. But um I do not have I do not actually uh uh I don't actually take them down right now. You see, uh, uh, Demon's method to take them down right now is to shoot Ember Seeds at them. Scent Seeds also work, but Ember Seeds are much more satisfying because then they get lit on fire. Right. Uh, you could also do bombs, I suppose. Do not doubt the powers of a Zelda shovel! Indeed! I remember in uh, in Oracle of Seasons that the Zelda shovel that the 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 shovel in there was just absurdly powerful. Um, I feel like I vaguely remember an upgraded shovel. I never I've never seen an upgraded shovel, mind you, but uh, but yes, the shovel in in a Legend of Zelda game are. They are almost always absurdly powerful. Interestingly, I can't actually do anything right now. Which is weird, because I should be able to do things. But this but this is how you can tell what animal buddy that you're actually going to get. Because Western Wood will... Well, not Western Wood, but... Uh, this, but this particular area will... Uh, is this... It's not Rolling Ridge. I forget what this area is actually called. Um... Uh, it's not fairy woods either. Um, I'm not sure what this particular area is called, actually. But this particular area will be different depending on which particular animal body you're getting. A big winged bear-like animal. Yes. I wonder who that could be. Well, we've well we rescued a big winged bear-like animal already, so clearly there's only one of them. You fairies can actually leave the forest? What other havoc has that run? Jumping all over the place to avoid combat. Oh, fuck those electric things. It just, you can't stick your sword at them, and your sword is your most commonly used weapon. Stupid. No, there's nothing in the Black Tower. <laughs> there's never anything in the Black Tower in the present. And here we have the, and here we have Cloud's most, Cloud's most hated mini, um, uh, side quest. 
well, not, not now. All you gotta do is just... <sighs> oh, they scrambled the woods again. Little... Why would you do this, fairies? It's, this is not helpful. Mm. I show off each of the screens that you can get to, but, um, yeah, but yeah, I did, I did not do this right, uh, the first time. This took me, again, I think another hour, but, uh. We don't even know where it is. It's like, it's in, fuck you, uh, it's in the middle of the forest. The it's in the one square, the one new square that's actually here. The difference is there's like three different entrances to the uh, to this part of the this part of the forest here, and one of them is on the same damn screen. Yeah. This... We're, we're trying to help them. Why are they still doing this? Do not with ever us? go. Uh, do not ever go multiple screens to the uh, right because that because that's pretty much your uh, your way out. Right. Unfortunately, past me doesn't know this. So you think you're making progress? No, I know I'm not making progress by this point, because it's like, oh damn it. Oh, god damn it, yep. There's, cause there's, there's the ancient cave, and there's the sign, and there's the only discernible landmark in this whole fucking forest. Oh yeah, you did bullshit, you didn't mean it. You, you little bastards. But this is a per this is a pretty efficient way to get uh, rupees. Oh, that's a good use of your time while you're lost, I suppose. Yeah, you see, um, uh, every 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 screen has has a certain number of exits on it, and depending on which exit you take, it will that will determine what room that you end up on. Which is why this particular room only has two uh, only has two different rooms. This one has four. Okay, this is different. Yes, and you're supposed to go up from that room. <laughs> found it. You yeah, Moose doesn't just... have a gender. These guys suck! Go away! I don't care about how much fun you have. Get the fuck out of my game! No, I won't come play with you again! Get the fuck out of here! Well, the thing is, in Oracle of Seasons, uh, their puzzle is the how you get the Noble Sword. It's not their puzzle, per se. It's the Lost Woods. Well, that is the Lost Woods, dude! That's, no, that's, it's called the Fairy Woods. Well, in the past, would, it's called, you, uh, in the past, it's called the Western Wood. Right. Because for some reason the fairies weren't present in the past, even though they it wouldn't hurt if they did, because they're fairies and they're probably immortal. Just to just to spite you even further. Right. Now Fuck here's the fairies. thing. Where I, here's where I screw up. Here, you see, you're supposed to talk to him again. Yeah. <laughs> now I jump cut it back to me actually talking to him again because I didn't talk to him the first time. Oh, he doesn't even give you the option because you didn't have Moosh. Yeah. Did you just have to say yes twice? I think so. Explore with Moosh. Oracle of Ages. Oh boy. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steven, we have to go up there. Link's posture on Moosh's back, and he looks like a fucking, like, like he's riding a chariot or something. He's riding into combat. <laughs> Ugh, all this A-pressing. God damn it! And no, Moosh is not immune to bottomless pits, he can just hover over them. Yeah. Of course that's the wrong one, it's the easy path. I believe if Ricky was the friend that you, if Ricky was the friend that you got for this part, then you wouldn't have to go this way. You would jump up to the cliff that you saw, like near the top of these screens. Cause hey, a ring! You can clear those jumps. Yay! That's probably that's that's probably the way that, that Ricky does this, but I don't remember. 
Yeah. I'm pretty sure that H.G. Bailey had Dimitri on, um, uh, for both games when he was here. Right, and if he had Dr Dimitri, then everything would be flooded. And w with waterfalls all over the place. Yeah. Evil oh, fucking yeah, workers! They can jump across the barrier. The impossible barrier of light. It's just... They just love their job that much. I couldn't even say that with a straight face. Now, the, the, the workers the workers in the Legend of Zelda games, besides the workers that are working on the Black Tower right now, are notorious for being extremely lazy. Yeah. More A pressing. No worker number two. Huh? The boss? I wanted to hang out a little while longer. Away! Now, as a carpenter, we can technically fix this bridge ourselves, but, um... Oh my god! We're, we're a carpenter helping carpenters! Exactly! <laughs> oh, and Moosh can actually kill them! You wouldn't know this, uh, you wouldn't know this naturally, because Moosh doesn't technically have an attack, but that, but that uh, butt slam that he does can kill pretty much anything in the game. His ass is immune to electricity. Worker number oh, no. three has been rescued. The, the boss away! Oh, thank God, they just take you back here. This was a pretty obvious throwback to uh, Ocarina of Time. Mm, really? Yeah. When you had to get when you had to get the carpenters out of uh, the Gerudo's hideout. Ah. Having never finished Ocarina of Time, I would I'm not uh, entirely familiar with the uh, Ger the Gerudo side quest. It's not a side quest. It's I know, it's part, part of, of the main quest, quest but, uh... And here we have, uh, Dark Nuts. These are Dark Nuts? Uh, they're either Dark Nuts or Iron Knuckles, and I want to save that, that, that turn for the blue one, so... Oh no, the sad music is playing. Of course the sad music is playing. Look at how destroyed Symmetry Village is. This part is just made Oh, hey, feel... Maple. Oh, gee! Goodbye, yeah, thanks, Maple. thanks, Maple. Thanks for... Okay. A fucking comic relief moment in, in the most melancholy part of the entire game. <laughs> like... There, there are people in these houses. Well, there were people in these houses. <laughs> Yay, Kale we have seeds! the Kale Seeds! I'll forget about them until Dungeon 7. What? <laughs> yeah, I forget that I I forget what the hell the Gale seeds actually do until Dungeon Seven. <laughs> it's okay. We have the power. We don't need Gale seeds. We have the power of jump cut. Yes, we have the power of jump cut. <laughs> oh, Ooh, a piece funny. of art. Shame I can't get that piece of art yet. You see, yeah, I was supposed to start the, the symmetry, uh, the symmetry city uh, quest to, to restore the tuning nut, and I forgot to do that. So now I'm just pointless wandering around to fill out the part. Right, you need to get you need to get your second song in order to navigate your way around this map. It's also how you get that piece of art up there. Uh huh. And it's. The time travel gimmick actually makes a lot less sense here, like, like geologically, because the landscape changes dramatically. But 400 years is not enough time for any of that to happen naturally. I don't know, the water is very powerful in this game. It's... it, it would take... it would take at least, like like, a hundred thousand years for water erosion to make a serious effect. Yes, we'll listen to your problem, because we are Demon the Carpenter, fixer of all things. If I listen to your problem, does that mean I don't have to listen to her problem, too? <laughs> you, this is a town that worships a nut. Not only do they worship a nut, but they're also nutty in the fact that they have to be exactly in the same place and everyone is twins. Everyone. That is... fucked. 
it's a plot point too, because the whole reason why no one else, why no one can leave, is because there are people on either side that have to stay exactly where they are. And in the next part, we'll continue questing for the Toonie Nut.